Next up, we'll consider another form of joint relaxation, uh, which uh, covers thermal effects. Now, the classic problem that we come across with bolted joints is where we have a clamped material of, say, aluminium, which has a very high coefficient of thermal expansion, and a steel bolt, which has a lower uh, coefficient of thermal expansion. Now, you can imagine if we uh, tighten this joint together uh, at room temperature and then take it out into a very warm environment, so it gets shipped out to the tropics or we put it in near a furnace or something like that, then the in that joint what will happen is as the temperature gets hotter, the aluminium, because it has a higher uh, rate of thermal expansion than the steel, will grow in length quicker than the bolt. So what's actually happening to the joint is that we're getting an increase in bolt tension due to that effect. Now, this of course doesn't happen if the, all the materials are the same. If it was a completely steel joint, then all the thermal uh, uh, expansion would be the same within the clamped parts and the steel bolt itself, and we wouldn't see this. The other instance where this uh, becomes a problem is where you have where the clamped material has a higher temperature or a different temperature to the bolt material. And I've certainly seen that uh, playing out on uh, disc brakes, where the uh, disc brakes are bolted onto a wheel, uh, but the disc gets very hot and the bolt doesn't get quite so hot. And sometimes this, although the, the materials are the same, the differential temperatures give rise to another uh, change in bolt pretension. So this little calculator here will help us do all this. All we have to do is pop in a, uh, a temperature rise for the bolt, a temperature rise for the clamped material. It's remembered from our clamped material definition uh, and our bolt definition what the uh, coefficient of thermal expansion is and it will calculate an increase in the length of the bolt and an increase uh, in the clamped uh, material length uh, and the difference in this will be uh, result in a net change in bolt pretension which will be calculated here. Let's run a, th a, th a few numbers in. Let's, uh, this is all steel, I believe, this particular case, so I'm going to give uh, a different... So we'll have the bolt temperature rise by 50 degrees C and the clamp material uh, only rise by 20 degrees C. So this is a case of differential uh, temperatures within the joint and in fact we're working out in this case a uh, loss in pretension of 8.6 kilonewtons.